mathematics and we will be studying a very important topic from class 9 digestive number system so before starting the actual chapter number system we will be recalling our previous knowledge about the chapter ok so suppose we are sitting in a classroom and if we ask one of you to count the number of students in a class naturally which number will come to your mind of course you will start your counting from 1 then 2 then 3 4 and so on up to infinity you can count so like this when we start our counting from 1 2 3 and 4 these numbers are called as natural numbers these numbers are called as natural numbers and they are denoted by a symbol and and they are denoted by a symbol and now other than this natural number there was a need of some other number also ok so take an example if I ask you to move out of the class I ask everybody of you to move out of the class now how many students are left in the class yes the number is 0 so there was a need of 0 also but we always start by counting from 1 so there was no 0 now when we include 0 also in this numbers that is 0 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to infinity then this number are called as whole number because as whole means all of the things included ok all the things will be included in the whole and it will be denoted by a symbol w now other than natural number and whole number there was a need of some other number also ok so for that first of all we will take an example suppose uh, it, is a, it is a surface of a C ok and I am taking this surface of a C as 0 ok all the things above it suppose there is an aeroplane here somewhere uh, at the height of plus 1500 meter above the C level ok an aeroplane is flying at a height of 1500 meter above the C now then it is a C ok and if I want to calculate the depth of a C so depth of the C will be this side Okay, the number above the zero will be all in positive, the number below it will be negative. Okay, so I hope you have understood why we are taking these things because there was a need of negative digits also. So, when negative digits are included together with this whole numbers, they are called as integers. Now, how we write them? 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And from here we will write minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on this they are represented by uh, integers are represented by a symbol z now you must be wondering why they are represented by a symbol z because this word integer has come from the german word from the german word zahlen zahlen means counting ok it has come from the german word zahlen and the z comes from zahlen ok so now you must have understood natural number whole number and integer number now as you can see here natural number whole number and integers we have studied now there are fraction and decimals what are fractions and decimals and what was the need of fraction and decimal you all know i think what is fraction fraction is a part of a whole ok fraction is a part of a whole we will take an example for it Suppose if we bought pizza, okay, and there are four members in a family. Now, how much part each person will get? So we record how many parts of that pizza? Four parts are there: one, two, three, four. And whole is it is a single quantity. Whole is one, but now this one we will divide into fraction. Now, how many parts pizza is having? One, two, three, and four. Total parts we can write here. And how many? How much part you will get? You will get only one part out of it, so it will be one upon four. So like this, we represent fraction fraction is a part of a whole ok now other than this there is decimal now for more precise calculation there was a need of decimals for a more precise calculation there was need of decimal now I will give you an example related to this suppose if I want to calculate my height ok it is 0 1 page 2 3 4 5 and 6 ok up till here and I am standing somewhere here ok suppose this is me now what is my height it is not exactly 1 2 3 4 or 5 ok what my height will be somewhere here so my height will be 5.9 feet ok so there was to uh, for a more precise calculation there was a need of decimals so is it clear why fractions and decimals were needed 
So now we have whole set of natural number, whole number, integers, fraction and decimal. What, what numbers we have studied right now? We have studied natural numbers, we have studied whole numbers, we studied integers and we have studied fraction and decimal. Fraction and decimals. And together all of this together, whole number, natural number, fraction and decimal integers are point as rational numbers. All they together they are called as rational numbers. Now what is rational number? Okay, rational number includes all of them. Whole number, natural number, fraction and decimal and integers. Now the question arises what is rational number? Rational number is nothing but it is a ratio. Okay, it is a ratio of a number in the form of ratio in the form of P upon Q. It is a ratio in the form of P upon Q where value of Q is not equal to 0. The value of Q will not be equal to 0. Okay, so now we will be taking some examples of rational numbers. Now I should drop this side. Okay, we will take example of rational numbers. Now, rational number, okay. I will ask from your side only. I want answers. What is rational number now? I have given the definition of rational number. What is rational number? Rational number is the form of P upon Q, where Q is not equal to 0. Okay. So I will take first the word as the number as 0. Is 0 a rational number or not? It is a rational number. Okay, because I can write 0 as 0 upon 1. Here value of Q is equals to 1. That is not equal to 0. Therefore, it is a rational number. Okay? We can take any other example. We can take any whole number, any natural number, any integer or any fraction. Okay, take an example of fraction. 3 upon 5. Now you can see here P equals to 3 and Q equals to 5. So again it is a rational number because value of Q is not equal to 0. We can take any other example from all of this. So I hope it is clear what is rational number. Now the numbers other than rational number. Okay? There are numbers other than rational number. Okay, you must be wondering now what numbers are there. But there are some numbers other than rational number. And that numbers are called as irrational number. The number other than rational number are called irrational numbers. Okay, so you must have understood what is irrational numbers. In rational numbers, they do not form any ratio. They do not form ratio. Okay, they cannot be represented in the form of ratio. And their example is value of pi. Okay, that there is any root, root 2, root 3, which is not a perfect root, root 5, root 7. All of this comes in the rational number. And then rational numbers and rational number and irrational number. They are together called as real numbers. These numbers are together called as real numbers. So real numbers, there are rational numbers and there is a irrational number. Okay? Now further we will be studying rational number and irrational number. Okay? So first of all, we will be start writing them. See. Rational number. Irrational number. Now rational number is further divided or we can represent rational numbers are the numbers whose decimal expansion the rational numbers are the numbers whose decimal expansion is either terminating whose decimal expansion is either terminating or non-terminating and recurring non-terminating and recurring whereas the irrational number decimal expansion will be it will be always non-terminating and non-recurring 
करें Now, what is meaning of terminating and non-terminating or recurring decimals? Okay, whenever we expand rational number, if we uh, not expand, if we divide any rational number in the form uh, and when we uh, form it in decimal form, then if the number is terminating, then it will be a rational number. If it will be non-terminating and recurring, then then also it will be a rational number. But if the decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-recurring, then it will be a rational number so i'll give you an example of rational number first okay what you have written here terminating non terminating and recurring so suppose i take an example uh, that is 20 divided by 4 okay or i can write it as 20 upon 4 now whether it is a rational number or an irrational number okay you must have understood it is a rational number but i will be explaining you this by decimal expansion okay if i divide it 20 divided by 4. Now we all know 4 fives are 20. Our division is over. Okay, it is terminated. Okay, the remainder came zero. Therefore, our answer will be 5. So it is a terminating number because what is terminating when this division will end? Okay, to a particular number the division will end. So it is ending here because we got remainder zero. Now we could not further divide it. So therefore, it is a rational. Number. Now there was another rational number that is non-terminating and repeating. So I take an example of take eleven upon three. Okay, we'll take example of eleven divided by three. Now here we will be studying how it is non-terminating and then also it is a rational number eleven upon three. Now let us see. It is eleven divided by three. With three is a nine. Okay, remainder will be two. We'll put decimal. We'll get here zero. Three six a eighteen. Again, remainder will be two. Again, we will take zero. Three six a eighteen. Again, remainder will be two. Again, we will take decimal. Yes, sorry, we will take zero. Again, three six a eighteen. So, is there any end to this division? There is no end to this division. Therefore, it is a non-terminating number. or non terminating decimal expansion and you can see one thing 6 is again and again repeating itself okay and it will be repeating itself again and again for example like 3.66 dot dot okay but so the 6 will continuously come again and again so this number is non terminating and it is repeating or recurring that's why it is a rational number okay I hope it is clear. Now we will take an example of irrational number. Okay. Now for an irrational example, I give you example of irrational number. The value of pi. Now the value of pi is represented by 22 upon 7. Though 22 upon 7 is not an exact value of pi, it is just an approximate value of pi. Now we will try and expand 22 upon 7. Now pay attention. 22 divided by 7. Seven three is a twenty-one. Okay. Now what will be the remainder? One. We we'll take decimal here. Then the zero. Seven one is a seven. What will be the remainder? Three. Again we have to take zero. Seven four is a twenty-eight. Again. Then there will be two. Again seven. We will be take zero here. Seven two is a fourteen. And we will be doing now six will be left. And then this division will go on. Okay, and you can see the digits are also not repeating. So here it is a non-terminating number and it is a non-recurring also. Okay, it will not terminate and it will not repeat also. So therefore, it is an irrational number. So that is the basic difference between an irrational number and a rational number. Rational number will be either terminating, okay, or if it will be, or it will be non-terminating and repeating. And irrational number will be always non-terminating and non-recurring. It's uh, the number, the decimal uh, expansion will never end. Okay, that is non-terminating, and the digits will not repeat. Also, that is non-recurring. I hope you have understood what is rational number and irrational number. The next class will be further studying these numbers and the problem related to this. Thank you.